From Hollywood, the Judy Canova Show, brought to you each week by the Colgate Palmolive Pea Company, makers of Palmolive Soap and Colgate Tooth Powder. Palmolive Soap, your beauty hope, and Colgate Tooth Powder for a breath that's sweet present the Judy Canova Show. With Mel Blank, Ruby Dandridge, Verna Felton, Joe Kearns, the Sportsman, Opie Cates and his orchestra, and starring Judy Canova. Ma, he's making eyes at me. Ma, he's awful nice to me. Ma, she's almost up breaking my heart. I'm beside him. Oh, mercy, let his conscience got him, Ma. He wants to marry me Be my honey be. What do you think of that? Every minute he gets bolder Now he's leaning on my shoulder Ma, 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 he's kissing me seems that Judy has entered a contest sponsored by the Gurgle Soda Pop Company. As we look in on her now, she and Geranium have just opened their 20th case of pop. Gee, Geranium, I sure appreciate you helping me drink this stuff. <coughs> we must have drunk 12 gallons already. Yeah, Miss Judy. <laughs> oh, pardon me. You know, I've drunk so much carbonated water, I feel like doing a bubble dance. <laughs> Me too. My floating rib just dropped anchor. <laughs> what a splash. <sighs> Say, Miss Judy, did you finish writing your sentence yet for the contest? Yeah, I wrote, I like gurgle soda pop because it quenches my thirst. All I have to do is look at a bottle of that horrible green stuff and I ain't thirsty no more. <laughs> <laughs> Say, how much more of this hopped up DDT do I have to drink? <laughs> Well, now, if you get 450 more bottle tops, honey, you may win the contest. Yeah, and the prize is a date with my favorite movie actor, Van Johnson. Mm. You sure like that man, don't you, Miss Judy? <laughs> yep, Van Johnson. That's one van that really moves me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I will tell you something. Last night I seen him in a picture, and he had a crush on Esther Williams in Technicolor. Esther Williams in Technicolor? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what has she got that I haven't got that I couldn't get straightened and Simonized? <laughs> <laughs> and do go. Judy? Yes, ma'am. Is Van Johnson worth all this trouble you're going to? Oh, yeah, Aunt Aggie. 
gee, I'd even be happy if I could dream about Van Johnson. Well, put a piece of wedding cake under your pillow and your dreams will come true. Well, I tried that with a piece of birthday cake. I dreamt about the fire department. I wonder what made you dream that. Well, when I put the cake under my pillow, I forgot to blow out the candles. <laughs> yeah, it was a three-alarm dream. Judy, what if you won the contest and Ben Johnson proposed to you? Would you know how to act? Oh, shucks. I hate to mention the number of handsome fellows who proposed to me. How many handsome men have proposed to you? None. That's why I hate to mention it. <laughs> But back home, a couple of people kept asking me all the time to get married. Who were they, Judy? Ma and Pa. <laughs> they were always hoping some big, handsome, blue-eyed hunk of man would come up to me and say, Pardon me for talking in your face, in your <laughs> Oh, hello, Pedro. Uh, did you empty those bottles of gargle for me? See, si, my cousin Gonzalez drank it. He said it tickled his nose. It doesn't tickle my nose. See, but Gonzalez mixed it with six feathers. Six feathers? See, he had two bottles. Yeah, well, where is Gonzalez now? Well, he fell asleep in a jeep. And the hill was steep. A train went beep. He'll sell the jeep cheap. <laughs> It's a heap. <laughs> That's too bad. You know, Senorita, when the new 1946 cars come out, I'm going to get one. Are the new cars really coming out, Pedro? See, I was looking at the new 1946 models of the 1942 cars. <laughs> which you can get delivered in 1947. <laughs> if your father is president of the company that made them. If he's still talking to you. <laughs> Well, look, did you order one of the new cars, Pedro? See, I ordered a foot button model. A foot button model? See, the floorboard is full of buttons. When you take your girl out riding, you push a button with your foot and the top comes down. You push another button, the radio plays. Push another button, the lights go out. You run the whole car with your feet. <laughs> well, what do you do with your hands? I eat peanuts. <laughs> Pedro, I want to write something else for the contest. Oh, I wrote a poem for a contest once, Senorita. A poem? See, si, listen. There once was a man from Azusa whose nose was a lollapalooza. From the day he was born, it looked just like a horn, and he played it for John Philip Sousa. <laughs> If you get a date with Van Johnson, I wonder how you'll get along together. What do you mean, Aunt Aggie? Well, they say a tall person gets along well with a short person. A quiet person gets along with a talkative person. Every girl should marry a person with opposite characteristics. Yeah, I know it, Aunt Aggie. That's why I want to marry a man. <laughs>
That was Opie Cates, his clarinet, and his orchestra playing No Can Do. Remember, doctors prove palm olive's beauty results. It's true, doctors prove palm olive soap can bring two out of three women a more beautiful complexion in just 14 days. And this plan was tested on women with all types of skin. Even women with dry skin, oily skin, rough skin, women as old as 50, even women whose skin wasn't clear. Yes, 36 doctors, leading skin specialists, have proved the 14-day palm olive plan improves all types of skin. Yes, brings fresher, brighter, younger-looking complexions. Start your 14-day palm olive plan now. It's as simple as one, two, three. Here's all you do. One. Wash your face with palm olive soap. Two. Then massage your face for 60 seconds with palm olive soft, lovely lather. You see, one full minute of this cleansing massage brings your skin palm olive's full, beautifying effect. Three. Then rinse. Do this just three times a day for 14 days. And that's all. Remember, doctors proved this beauty plan with palm olive soap brought two out of three of all women tested a more beautiful complexion in just 14 days no matter what beauty care they used before. So get palm olive soap. See what palm olive can do for your own complexion in only 14 days. And for tub or shower, for loveliness all over, get the new big thrifty bath size palm olive. <laughs> Geranium, two weeks have gone by, and I haven't heard if I won that gurgle soda pop contest. You sure are crazy to win that date with Van Johnson, ain't you, honey? <laughs> crazy is right. You know, the only time I ever saw Van Johnson, I felt just like a bottle of soda pop standing in a hot sun. You did? Yeah, I gurgled a little, started to fizz, and then blew my top. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. The man in a white coat threw a net over me. Yeah, he let me go, though. He did. Yeah. Well, listen, honey, is this the first contest you was ever in? Oh, no, no. Once I was in a Better Babies contest sponsored by a milk company. I was Miss Coffee Cream of Cactus Junction. Yeah, well, why do they call you Miss Coffee Cream? Well, when I was a baby, I was always on top of the bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to be. There's 14 kids in the family. Yeah, well, you know, Miss Judy, I come from an exceptionally large family, too. Now, you can say that again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, my mother even ran out of names for the children. Yeah, she called the last four Eeny, Meeny, Miney, and Charlie. Charlie? What about Mo? Well, then when my pa counted them kids, he said there ain't gonna be no more. <laughs> Yes? I have a letter here for you. It came by pigeon. Carrier? No, I better walk this time. <laughs> Is it a reply from the contest? Did you win? Aunt Aggie, the judges liked my letter, but they didn't get my bottle top. They didn't get your bottle top? Gracious, what do you have to do? Well, I got to order more right away. Geranium, call up and order 450 more bottles of gurgle. Yes, sir. What flavor you want this time? Well, the orange was good, but it tastes too much like sarsaparilla. Uh-huh. Yeah, so order the grape. That uh- tastes more like orange. Okay. <laughs> Pedro! Pedro! Yes, Senorita. Pedro, did you send those bottle caps to the contest like I told you to? See, si, I send them by dog sled. <laughs> by dog sled? I told you to send them air mail. Air mail? Senorita, I thought you said Airedale. <laughs> uh, Miss Knuber? Yes? Here's your 450 bottles of giggle. Gee, you got here quick. Yeah. Ain't reconversion wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> Say, how long have you been with the Gurgle Company? Uh, 35 years. That's five years. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, mister, you must like this stuff. No, never touch it. Prefer uh, onion juice to sell. Uh, onion juice? Yep. Well, now, don't that give you a little trouble with your breath? No. Uh, use Colgate tooth powder. Never have a breath for trouble, you know. <laughs> Gosh, I, I don't wish my sponsor could hear you say that. Go uh, ahead, let him hear you say it. Say uh, it again. Uh, use Colgate tooth powder. All right, that's enough. Okay. okay. <laughs> Say, uh, I knew a Knova lived up by Skanookahook uh, Mean, uh, name of Abigail. Any kin? No, why? 
Well, she was a mighty fine woman. Did a lot for a skinooka hook chuck. <laughs> yes? Yep, 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 yep. She married a rich millionaire. Had a pile of money. Yep, she married him. Is that so? Yep, 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 yep. Gave us an auditorium, a park, and a library. Make a fine woman. Well, where'd she get the money to do all that? Uh, poisoned her husband. <laughs> poisoned her husband? Yep, yep. Mighty fine woman. Well, I better get busy and open these bottles so I can send the tops in. Yes, Judy, and you'd better hurry. Remember, the contest closes at midnight. Oh, don't you worry, Aunt Aggie. I'll have the tops off these bottles before you can say Van Johnson. Hand me that opener and stand back. I shouldn't have opened that last bottle with my teeth. <laughs> Judy, look. The soda pop is running all over the floor. And you've broken off a tooth. Head for the hills, boys. The bridge is out. <laughs> Which tooth did you break, Judy? Well, sir, I think it was my Pullman tooth. Your Pullman tooth? Yep, yeah, lower seven. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, this is dreadful. Now you'll have to have that tooth extracted. Extracted? Shucks, no, I'll just go to the dentist and have it pulled out. <laughs> just kiss me once and kiss me twice and kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Haven't felt like this, my dear, since can't remember when. It's been a long, long time. You'll never know how many dreams I've dreamed about you. Or just how empty they all seemed without you. So kiss me once and kiss me twice and kiss me once again. It's been a long long time. Kiss me once and kiss me twice and kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Haven't felt like this, my dear, since can't remember when. It's been a long, long time. You'll never know how many dreams I dreamed about for just how empty they all seem without you. So kiss me once and kiss me twice and kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Just kiss me once and kiss me twice and kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time Haven't felt like this, my dear, since can't remember when It's been a long, long time You'll never know how many dreams I've dreamed about you Or just how empty they all seem without you Kiss me once and kiss me twice and kiss me once again. It's been a long, it's been a long, long time. That was Judy Canova singing It's Been a Long, Long Time. Remember this message from Colgate Tooth Powder. Your romance will be a bursted bubble if you have that breath of trouble. 
Maybe you're a victim of a breath of trouble. I mean, unpleasing breath. Something you don't even suspect in yourself. But it's happened to thousands without their knowing. So just do this. Brush your teeth night and morning and before every date with Colgate Tooth Powder. For Colgate Tooth Powder cleans your breath as it cleans your teeth. Because scientific tests have definitely proved that in seven cases out of ten, Colgate Tooth Powder instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. What's more, no dentifrice at any price cleans your teeth more quickly and thoroughly than Colgate Tooth Powder. Remember to buy it first thing, and remember the name, Colgate Tooth Powder, with the accent on powder. Don't take a chance with your romance. Use Colgate Tooth Powder. Is this Dr. Harris from the dentist's office? Yes, ma'am, it is. Well, I'm Judy Canova, the girl who called about the broken tooth. Is the doctor in? Yes, he's polishing some plates. Well, when he finishes the dishes, can I see him? <laughs> oh, doctor, here's Miss Canova. Oh, yes, yes, the girl who bit the pop bottle. Now, Miss Canova, just sit in the chair here, and we'll have that tooth out in a hurry. Okay. Do you want a local anesthetic? Local? Chucks, no, give me something imported. <laughs> something no, no. hard to get, yeah. <laughs> Quite understand. I was referring to the process of anesthesia that renders the patient immobile, unconscious, and completely immune to pain. Uh, do you object to gas? Oh, no. Talk all you want to. Go right ahead. <laughs> now, uh, just relax, Miss Canova, and you'll have pleasant dreams. We'll pull the tooth and cast it away. Cast it away. Cast away, cast away, cast away, cast away. Golly, I'm a castaway <laughs> on a South Sea island. Ugh, who are you? Ugh. No, I ain't Ugh, I'm Judy Canova. I still say, Ugh. Say, how did I get here? You come from Big Boat. Terrible wreck. Yeah, I know. I always look this way after a boat ride. <laughs> yeah, if you think I'm a mess now, you ought to see me on Navy Day in the Tunnel of Love. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Whoo. I say, how'd I get up on the shore? You carried up by great big wave. She was a seaman, second class. <laughs> What island is this? You come off big boat, land on Bali. Never mind how I landed. <laughs> Where am I? Say, who is this? Pardon me for talking in your sleep, Miss Judy, but you in Pogo Pogo. Geranium, how'd you get here? Oh, don't ask me, honey. This is your dream. <laughs> I'm a flower girl. Want to buy a geranium or a chrysanthemum? A uh, what? A uh, chrysanthemum. Say, geranium, you got hiccups. Yes, and I got buttercups, too. <laughs> oh, look, geranium, the native chief. I'm going mad! 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 <laughs> What's the matter, chief? Oh, they won't let me blow any bubbles. <laughs> commercial again. <laughs> hey, what's that? The chief is leaving for Albuquerque. <laughs> All aboard. Have your bottle tops ready. All aboard for Ontario, Riverside, Colton, Anaheim, Mazusa, and Cochamonga. <laughs> Golly, sounds just like Jack Benny. Ah, uh, good evening, ma chérie. Oh, gee whiz, are you Hollywood's Van Johnson? No, I'm Beacon's Van Storage. <laughs> ah, finding you here in this paradise is wonderful. Huh? You are gorgeous. I like the way that sarong is draped around your waist. Oh, this ain't a sarong, it's my turban. I wound it too loose. <laughs> ah, my petite. Oh, this is so romantic. 
Doesn't this tropical moon fill you with ecstasy? Huh? <laughs> Even the animals of the jungle are under its romantic spell. Huh? Look. Look at those monkeys in the tree. They are speaking their language of love. Why can't we do what they are doing? No, nope. when I hang by my feet, the blood rushes to my head. <laughs> Say, how did you get here? Well, the same way you did. A dentist in Pomona gave me an anesthetic. Oh, but forget that. Come. Oh, kiss me. Well, I don't know. I tell you, when I kiss a girl, she feels as if she is floating through space. Oh, kiss me. Hey, you ain't kidding. Get me down from up here. Your voice is fading. Where are you going? I'm going out of the anesthetic. Oh, no, don't go. I was planning to take you to far off places. London, Paris, Nice. Anaheim, Azusa, and Kamanga. <laughs> hey, nurse. Nurse. What is it, Miss Canova? Do you want more gas? Yeah, and you better check the oil and tires, too. I'm going on a long trip. <laughs> Folks, tomorrow is Armistice Day, the day on which World War I ended. So tonight, I'd like to dedicate my theme song to the men and women of our armed forces who have given so much to bring freedom and peace to the peoples of this earth. Let's go. And now here's Judy to sing the complete version of her closing theme song, Good Night, Soldier. Good night, soldier, wherever you may. My heart's lonely without you. Good night, soldier, taps the reveille. Finds me dreaming about. Vern Smith asking you to follow the 14-day palm olive plan for a lovelier complexion. And don't take a chance with your romance. Use Colgate tooth powder night and morning and before every date. Ladies, you now get four points a pound for your used cooking fat instead of two. Save every drop you can. Remember that soap calls for vast quantities of fat. The more you turn in, the more soap you'll see at your grocer. Let me repeat, your butcher now pays you four cents and four points for every pound of cooking fat. Now, here's Judy. Folks, it was awfully nice being with you tonight, and I hope we'll all be together again next Saturday night. In the meantime, please don't forget the two products that bring us together each week, palm olive soap and Colgate tooth powder, the bestest in the world. This is Judy Canova from Hollywood saying, Good night. The Judy Canova Show is written by Fred Fox and Henry Lupo. This is the National Broadcasting Company.